Kelvin. Yes. This is an old hydrotherm. <laughs> yeah. And this one is 125,000 BTUs. See how tiny this thing is? Yeah, this thing is beautiful. It is a, it is a workhorse. Yeah, man, this is art. This is like Picasso. <laughs> but, Calvin, what do you think the combustion results are going to be? Great, I hope. <laughs> yeah. The homeowner wants great results. We shall see. We shall see. All right, Calvin, uh, we're going to need to get uh, one of the brushes, you know, the long furnace brushes. Yeah. And the little vacuum. We'll clean those out first. And, uh, yeah, we'll check pressure, temperature. You know, they're actually pretty clean. All right. Let's get the vacuum, Calvin, the brush. Yeah, I turned it off. Oh, okay. So we're about 400, all right, 500. And most of this is gonna be a 750, but we need a minimum of about 350 to close the gas valve. And it looks like we have 3.9, 3.8. So above that, which is 380 volts, millivolts. These are in hundreds. Sorry about that. It's been a uh, it's been a long and busy summer. We're starting to get in the crack of doing the heating tune-ups, but I was wrong with that. You actually have to take off the the leads coming from the pilot generator, the thermal pile, and test it like that. And as you can see, we have six hundred and 
35 millivolts coming from the pilot generator. So this is a good pilot generator and we're good. Sorry about that guys. All right, now we're gonna drill a hole for our combustion test analysis. We wanna be approximately six inches off the top of the breech of the uh, coil. Put this right there. I use my Milwaukee M18 impact driver. I got a Milwaukee uh, step bit and I drew a little hole right there. All right, so now that that's running, we're gonna get our Testo ready. Looks like I lost a little set screw there. Okay, starting it up, zeroing out. Let that zero out, and then we'll do a combustion analysis. And while that's doing starting up, we're gonna turn the system back on, wait for the end switches on each zone valve, all three zones are on, wait for them to, the motor to hit the end switch, and uh, activate the boiler. It's got these uh, eco views. So now the boys are running, we're gonna let this run for about 10, 15 minutes and then uh, check our combustion analysis. All right, when you slide in the probe, you wanna be about halfway inside the blue piping. So right about there. And we'll take a look at our results. And just as I suspected, right from the get-go, we're gonna have high amounts of carbon monoxide due to improper combustion. Our oxygen is uh, still dropping, but we want to be, what percentage around oxygen, Kelvin? Around 6%? Or around 4 to 9%. 4 to 9%. Yes. Well, closer to 6. So, if you see, we have 5.8, slowly dropping of O2, and our carbon monoxide, well, 1,200, and slowly climbing. And our gross efficiency is right around a little over 80% that's gonna drop as the stack temperature rises. That's a problem with these old hydrotherms. You're gonna get very, very high stack temperatures. Uh, primarily due to just improper maintenance, lack of maintenance, things of that, things of that nature. But uh, in this case, it is a cost effective to scrub the boiler, replace the gas valve or adjust the, you know, adjust the gas valve. Uh, probably not, but it's much cheaper than replacing the whole boiler. So, but again, look at that, uh, that stack temperature, 500 and almost 50 degrees, it'll be at shortly. And we're approaching uh, oil boiler temperatures. <laughs> but that's what happens, you know, it works. But is it safe? It's safe because there's a, a flue pipe in the chimney. But ideally, we want to see that CO, you know, under 50 particles per million, not 1,432. If you ain't guessing, sorry, if you ain't checking, right, Kelvin? If you ain't checking, checking you're guessing. You're guessing. That's right. And don't pay twice, pay once. So our oxygen, 5.6%, stack temperature, 575 degrees, and 78.6% overall efficiency on this hydrotherm. HC-12. Let's take a look at the temperatures and pressures. Our temperature is, if correct, is right around 140 degrees. Pressure is right around 20. We'll confirm that by testing the pressure on the extra number 30. Make sure we have nothing leaks. No crazy rust going on here, which we don't. Tanko 007 circulator. It's 
So I adjusted the gas valve pressure. I'm not going to show you exactly how I do that. It's just some things are better off not being shown. Um, but I do need a screwdriver. And by doing that, if we take a look at the Testo 320, uh, my O2 has increased. My carbon monoxide has decreased. And my overall efficiency is still right around, it was at 78, now it's at 77. Um, our temperature is still high, 585. But we are, we did bring down that CO uh, over 1200 particles per million, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna adjust this a little bit more. We'll bring down, we'll bring up the O2 a little bit higher. And we'll, we'll, first we're gonna wait for this to balance out, but let's see how low this is gonna get. I don't think it's gonna get that much lower, but. She is an oldie. For an old boiler, that's pretty good, man. Yeah. 150. Seven point eight oh two percentage. Looks like we kind of stabilize right there. Let me make an adjustment. It's gonna look down just another eighth of a turn. Give that a few seconds to show up on there. I think that's the best we're gonna get. What do you think, Calvin? Yeah, it's pretty good. For a long time. Yeah. Didn't we have a Didn't we have a hydrothermal once that broke your sensor? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but look, we're still dropping. So, you know, it's it's a good idea, you know, to have annual service done on your heating system. And this is a perfect example. You know, this older system, there's no blocked vent switch. There's no spill switch on this. You know, God forbid something happened with this, with this chimney and the exhaust gases were coming out, you know, from the diverter. You know, they would have had 1,500 parts a million of carbon monoxide coming into this basement, to the house, to the structure, you know, putting people in, uh, in danger. But uh, look, you know, with a little adjustment, the boiler is much safer. We're probably, I'm hoping to hit 50 parts per million or under. Um, and the only thing we're sacrificing, you know, is this efficiency at this point, uh, because that stack temperature is gonna, you know, as you uh, lower the flame, it's gonna get hotter in there. But look at that, 50 and under, 48. And there you have it, guys. Kelvin, any thoughts? Mm, no. Kelvin is speechless. 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 All right. Thanks for watching.